Hi, I'm Eric Boehm. I'm curator of aircraft here at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. We have many aircraft here at the Intrepid Museum, six of which are helicopters. We're going to go behind the scenes and take a look at our AH-1J Sea Cobra. The Cobra was a direct development of the Bell UH-1 Huey helicopter. Now the Huey was a passenger carrier and also a medical evacuation helicopter. But the lessons learned during the Vietnam War in the mid-60s was that they needed to be armed to protect themselves, and they were also being used more and more in an offensive type role. So the direct development was the Cobra. Now it only took six months for the Cobra to go from idea to flying prototype, and it worked so well they went into mass production with it. So one of the big differences between the Cobra and the Huey, other than not being able to carry a lot of troops, were these stub wings. And you'll notice on the stub wings there's hard points where you can mount rockets and missiles. Now here we are under the nose of the Cobra, and this is uh, probably considered the primary weapon. This is directly controlled by the gunner sitting in the front seat. This is a 20 millimeter Gatling gun. There's, you'll notice there's three barrels. Now 20 millimeter slug, that's about three quarters of an inch, actually bigger than three quarters of an inch in diameter. These come in high explosive and even armor piercing for taking out tanks. So sitting in the back seat is the pilot. His primary job is to fly the aircraft. In the front seat, this is the guy with the work to do. This is the gunner. Here you can see his gun mount. He can select all the different weapons that this thing carries and he fires them all from the front. He can also fly the helicopter if he needs to from the front seat, but that's usually the guy in back's job. So the back seater is the pilot. Everything here is uh, pretty familiar to pilots. Uh, also notice armor plating all the way around behind his head and down the sides. Now the Army used Cobras in Vietnam, but also the Marine Corps. Now the only difference in the Marine Corps version was they prefer two engines. Got to remember the Marines are probably operating from out at sea off of maybe an amphibious assault ship, so they wanted the safety of a second engine while flying over water. Though developed in the 1960s, the United States Marine Corps is still using updated versions of the Sea Cobra. For more behind the scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.